Okay, in this video, we're gonna learn how to um, create this image and we're gonna use the difference tab to create this. Okay, first we're going to get some rectangles. I'm gonna hold down my left key and drag it out to make my rectangle. And then I'm going to um, control D to duplicate it and when I'm dragging it down, I'm gonna hold the control button and it'll keep it in line. We'll go and line them up afterwards, but just so it doesn't drive us crazy. And then con um, control D, duplicate, duplicate it, and then control and hold it down. And we're gonna do that five times. It's three. Or control D and control to hold it to keep it in line with each other. Change the color and you can pick your own color but here's a um, demonstration of the dropper tool so I'm going to click this I want I want to click the object that I want colored selected have it selected take the dropper tool and go over to the color I want it to be and it'll change the color. So then select the next one, do the dropper tool, and select it. Select the next one. Okay, so once you've got them all colored, let's move on to the text. We'll push the text tab and um, type in a, and I'm just using the impact font and then we'll type those out. to place it over on here just to get a sense of how big I want and um, we can see that our um, rectangles are a height of 0.54 so if we do these as 0.5 we'll do 0.54 And then we want to change each of these to 0.54. And that one's going to be bigger, so. And we'll come and place them in here. Doesn't have to be perfect. We'll line them up here in a second. And then this, I want to see how long our uh, rectangles are 9.795 so let's just make this uh, with 9.7 okay and it'll fit there okay now let's move this out of the way and then I'm I selected it all and I'm gonna bring it closer by pressing the number 3 and then the minus and plus to zoom in and out I'm wanting to make sure that these words are in the center of each rectangle. So let's pull up our alignment panel by pressing Control Shift A and then let's select the text and the triangle by selecting the text, holding the shift key and selecting the, uh, I said triangle, rectangle. <laughs> okay. And we're going to center it on the vertical and center on the horizontal. So that's center. Then we're going to do the same for the others. Select, sh hold shift and select the rectangle. Center, center. And the same for the others. And that one looks a little bit smaller than the rest. Why? 
Okay, now that we've got those centered on the um, rectangles, we're going in and we're going to cut out this back piece of the rectangle. And we're going to do that by creating another rectangle. And the width of this is 2.741. So let's do this to be just an even three. Okay, we're gonna put it over the word. Now, it's kind of hard to see if we're gonna be center and stuff, so my little tip is, let's pull up our fill panel, which is Control Shift F, okay? And if you go down here, it'll say the opacity. We're gonna set it down, and it don't matter, just wherever you can see the words behind it, so we can see where we're lining it up. And let's get closer. We selected it, let's press the number three, get a little closer. Okay, and we're still, if you're anything like me, you're wanting your spaces on the side of your words to be even. So, let's do this. Let's bring the text in front. So we're gonna put our box behind, now our text is in front and we're going to take our text, our box, and our rectangle and we're going to center them. Now, now this is where we're going to difference it and I think the same thing for Cricut is called slice. If you're differencing something, um, whatever you want to be cut out, it needs to be on the bottom. So this rectangle is on the bottom because it's going to be cut out and this rectangle is telling us the shape and where it's going to cut, okay? So we're gonna hold, we're gonna select our rectangle and our pink rectangle. We're gonna go up to um, path difference and it cut out that rectangle, okay? And I always forget to do this so I was going, instead of making another rectangle, which could be easy, but I'm just gonna, I want my other one, I wanna duplicate the other one. So um, I messed up, so I'm going to Control Z to bring that back. So I can duplicate my um, rectangle, so I can give each one. And I'm just hitting Control D to duplicate them and give them to the rest. Okay, so let's do that one again. I selected that, let's go closer by pressing the number three and let's hit, let's select that rectangle and the pink rectangle and go to path, difference. Okay, now we're gonna do the the same to the, to the uh, rest. Let's put that um, behind by pressing the page down and then we're going to select the text in the orange rectangle. We're going to center them on the vertical and the horizontal. And then we're going to select our um, faded rectangle and the orange rectangle and go up to path difference. Okay. Now this rectangle, we need to bring it in a little bit so let's make it where it looks pretty even. Okay, let's uh, put it behind by pressing your page down on your keyboard. And let's center them all up by selecting, holding the shift key and selecting them all. Centering them on the vertical and the horizontal. And then selecting our faded rectangle and our yellow and going to path difference. Okay, and then the same for the next. So I'm gonna size these down a little bit. And then I'm gonna put this behind so I can select my text by pressing the page down. Now I'll select my text and my green rectangle, centering them. And you see how it makes uh, 
because the G and the Y are down low. I'm going to bring back my A down like that. Okay, now select our faded rectangle and our green, and we're going to go path, difference. Okay, now these are all centered up, so I'm wanting to make sure that all of my, rectang my rectangles are centered and then I want the be kind to be centered too. But we've already centered all of these, so let's group each one. Now you can go to Object, Group, or you can hit the Control G to make it faster. Control G, select them both, Control G, Select them both by holding the shift key, control G, and now all of them, when we center them, it'll all work out. So let's select all of them, and the be kind, and center them. Okay, now, now let's turn it into an SVG. I'm going to ungroup everything by going to Object, Ungroup, or you hold the Shift, Control, G. And we'll just do that another time to see if everything's ungrouped. Okay, and you can tell by clicking through. Okay, now we're wanting to make this into an SVG. Think about how I'm um, creating my image and what the final design's gonna look like, I want all my words to be black. So I know that I'm not gonna change it up, I'm all gonna be one color. So I know that I can union them. Now if I want them to be different colors, I would just group them, okay? So let's tur turn these into a path so Cricut can recognize it when we send it to our machine. I'm going to select all of my text. I'm gonna go to Path, Object to Path, Object, Ungroup, and then Path, Union. Okay, so this is all one thing, okay? Now when I move that around, instead of trying to get it back to where exactly it was, I'm just gonna hit Control Z and it'll, a few times, and it'll click back to where it was. Now, let's make our rectangles where it will cut and we do not want to union them because they're all different colors. So we're just going to go path, object to path. And you can tell that these are going to be recognized by your Cricut because all of our nodes are on it. And then the final step is to group both of these, all these together by going Object, Group, or Control G, and then um, picking our sizing. If I was going to go across the shirt, and we'll do a 10. Let's get rid of that. And then um, I'm going to go up here to File, Save As. I'm going to name it B Kind and um, save it as a plain SVG. And there we are.